Hi, everybody. It's Deborah from PeopleLovingAnimals.com. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching my video today. Uh, today's uh, video is called Online Pet Supplies Cheap. I save an enormous amount of money by buying my pet supplies on eBay. I don't just buy pet supplies on eBay. I buy a ton of stuff on eBay, everything from jewelry uh, to clothes to shoes to purses. Um, I even bought lawn furniture one time. Um, pretty much anything you can go to any store and buy, you can get on eBay and usually cheaper. And the other thing that a lot of people don't realize is eBay is oftentimes cheaper than Amazon. You know, Amazon is like this, you know, corporate global unbelievable e-commerce and it just keeps growing and growing which I understand because they have absolutely everything you could ever want to buy but guess what so does eBay and nine times out of ten and I would even I would even venture to say 10 times out of 10. If I'm shopping for something, I go online first. I just always do. I'm not a, I'm not a mall walker. I don't particularly care for, for shopping really. So I prefer to get things online, but my, my three go-tos are eBay, Amazon and Walmart.com. And I got to say, eBay is usually the cheapest. It's, I always get free shipping on eBay. Always. I'm going to show you how to do that today. Um, so I don't understand why Amazon is such a big deal and eBay isn't a bigger deal. But today, I think you're going to agree with me by the time I show you, um, by the time I show you this. Um, now, let me just tell you a couple of things. First of all, we are on my website here, peoplelovinganimals.com. In the description box to this video, I'm going to give you a link to this article that we're using for today's video. This is an article I wrote that tells people about eBay and uh, basically tells you um, the things I'm going to talk about in the video today, which is how I save a ton of money on pet supplies shopping on eBay. I'm going to give you the link to this article. And in the description box, I'm also going to give you a link to... Um, to go to eBay to buy pet supplies. And uh, and like I said, at the end of the video, I'm also gonna have a free gift for you. So there's a lot in this article. We're not gonna go over the whole thing. I'm just kind of using it as my template for our video today, so I don't forget to tell you anything. But like I said, in the description box, you can click on this link, you can go right to this article, and not only can you read the whole thing if you want to, but you can click on stuff inside it as well. Now, like I said, I save a lot of money on eBay, nine times out of 10 or 10 times out of 10. If I want something, I look around to various places and so many, so much of the time I end up on eBay and I end up buying it there. Um, now, in this article and in the description box, like I said, I'm going to give you a link to go ahead and go to eBay. We're going to go there in this video and I'm going to show you some things. Now, some of the benefits of buying on eBay. First of all, there's unlimited products available. There's just unbelievable numbers of products available on eBay. I, I would really be, think you would be hard pressed to find anything that you were shopping for that you couldn't find on eBay. And the other thing, you know, this is, I think, one of the biggest misconceptions about eBay is people think that eBay is people selling their crap on eBay, like cleaning out their garage and then selling shit or selling antiques or whatever. eBay started with that, but eBay is not that anymore. You can literally find anything on eBay that you can find on Amazon. And I'm talking brand new in the box, e-commerce, real products. It's not used stuff, although you can get used stuff. And I have saved a ton of money. Um, by getting things used on eBay that it, you know, things that you're buying that it doesn't matter if it's used, you can save a ton of money. Um, but you know, when you buy on eBay, you're buying, you know, the real thing, you're buying new and in, in the box, um, products. Okay. So like I said, anything that you can think of to buy, you can find on eBay. The biggest uh, benefit to buying on eBay is the price. And you know, the thing is, is when people are selling on eBay, they don't have any overhead. They're not, you know, paying to have a brick and mortar store. Uh, they're not paying rent for a retail space and all that kind of stuff. When you sell on eBay, and I know because I was a top rated eBay seller for about eight years. Um, so I've been on the other end of eBay where you're selling. But when you sell on eBay, eBay charges a small portion of all of your sales and then PayPal, which is usually how people pay. You don't have to pay with PayPal, but most people pay with PayPal on eBay. PayPal takes a small fee as well of all your sales. That's it. You know, there's there's no other expenses. And that's why the eBay sellers can sell things so cheap because they virtually have no overhead, okay? 
So the biggest thing is the price. Now I want to give you a specific example of that. Here's my little dachshund Taz. And if you go to my website, you'll see this little dog here. This is my little wiener dog Taz. She's very sweet. Um, this is a, um, I call it a baby buggy because there's a baby, but it's a pet stroller. And I bought this, this one in the picture on eBay. Now I picked, um, Purchase this on eBay for $44 with free shipping. So $44 total. It was brand new in the sealed box. It wasn't a used one. Now that um, buggy at the same day that I bought it on eBay for $44 was $85 on uh, Walmart.com. So this is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. This is one of many, 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 many things that I have um, looked on eBay for and found with free shipping, brand new in the box, the same exact product for way, way less. I mean, this is like, you know, 50% cheaper. Um, and this isn't like, oh, I'm going to pick this miraculous discount that I got. No, these are the discounts I get all the time. Okay, so whatever you're needing for your dog or your cat, or your gerbil or your hamster or your fish or whatever, any pet supplies that you need, um, anything from, you know, dog dishes to harnesses to collars to litter boxes to toys, um, absolutely everything you can find on eBay and you can get it a lot cheaper. I put a little side story in here. Um, it's, it's kind of a cute story when we would walk Taz around the neighborhood. It's really cute to have a dog and a buggy like this because people think at first glance that you have a baby. <laughs> Um, you know, they think that you're walking a baby and it's just really cute. And people would come up and they, they would, um, kind of do a double take and they would come up to this and they would say, we thought you were walking a baby. And my joke was always to say, she looks just like her father <laughs> and people would laugh. So it's just, a, it's just a fun thing to have. By the way, if you have an elderly dog and that's why I ended up getting this buggy for Taz, um, she was, um, elderly and she couldn't go for walks as much, but you know, when they're old, they still need to be outside. They still need fresh air. They still need sun shine they still need to have some activity in their day so we would we started putting her in the buggy and taking her for walks and then um, after Taz uh, passed away she died in 2016 uh, I ended up adopting a Boston Terrier named Cagney and you'll see pictures of him throughout my website if you go if you go to my website and uh, Cagney actually had a um, a leg injury he blew out his ACL and uh, so it was a long time before he could go for walks and so I would take him in the buggy and that Boston Terrier um, that Boston Terrier would ride would ride in the buggy I have videos of him I do have a YouTube channel if you go to my website you can click here and go to my YouTube channel and um, you'll see videos of Cagney in the buggy and it's just really cute but anyway I'm sorry I'm getting way off topic here but I can't help but talk about I mean look at how cute she is uh, also on eBay, you can compare items and you can compare sellers. Okay. So you can say, okay, I, I want a dog stroller. You can look at three or four different ones. You can compare what's the price, what's the size, you know, and you can also compare sellers. Now I was what's called the top rated seller on eBay and, um, you know, sellers are rated by eBay and they're also rated by buyers in the form of feedback. So, you know, look and see what the seller's rating is and make sure that they're providing, you know, good customer service. So that kind of gives you some protection as well when you're buying. eBay is super easy to use. Now I'm going to show you this right now. I'm going to not, not going to read you this. I'm going to show it to you. Let's go to eBay and let's say here's eBay. Just go to ebay.com. Well, actually, I'm going to ask you to use the link in the description box of this video, and I'm going to tell you why when we get to the end of this video. But click on the link I gave you. It'll show up in eBay. Now, let's say that you put pet stroller, okay, as your search here at the top. See, this is where you search for things. Then here you are. Um, eBay gives you, you know, all these pet strollers. And so you can see, you know, you get a wide variety. Now, things you're going to be looking for. Now, first of all, I always want um, free shipping. Now, chances are you're going to get free shipping because I got to tell you, eBay pretty much expects it now. Um, you know, People expect free shipping on eBay. They just do. You know, Amazon, you can sometimes pay a fortune for eBay or for shipping if you don't have Prime. Other websites, you know, you find a really good price, but they're shipping. And then a lot of websites, Walmart.com is one. You have to spend a certain amount in order to get free shipping. But that's one of the great advantages to eBay is it doesn't matter whether you're buying a $300, a $3 item or a $300 item. You, you usually get free shipping. Um, so always just make sure. Now what you can do is you can, um, 
along the left here you can see all these choices you can you can really narrow your search by a lot you can search by brand you can search by color um you can look at you can even um, pick the shipping time like do you need one day shipping two day shipping you can search by price if you need it to be under a certain amount um Location. Now, this is one of the things you might want to um, think about. Now, I made the mistake on eBay before I knew. Um, there's a lot of sellers on eBay who are based in China and Hong Kong, for example. And they are sometimes the ones that show up with the cheapest prices and free shipping usually, which is fine. And I haven't necessarily had any problems with the products I've purchased, although I don't want to hurt any eBayers by saying this, but at I have to say they do tend to be on a little bit less quality. But like I say, I don't want to make a blanket statement about that because I don't want to hurt any any um, sellers that don't that do have quality things. But they are new products. They are new in the box. And um, but the problem with it is it takes forever to get to you because they're shipping it from China or Hong Kong and it can take weeks to get to you. Now, if it's the product that you want and it's the best price, then go ahead and buy it. But just know that ahead of time that you're going to have to wait a long time for it. Whereas if you go over here and you say U.S. only, for example, if you're buying in the U.S. or, you know, um, you know, you're going to get things that are going to get to you within a couple of days. That's the other thing is uh, shipping is super fast on eBay. And again, eBay requires it. eBay requires it of their sellers. If you don't ship your items quickly, not only will eBay rate you badly, but your buyers will rate you badly. And so you don't show up in the search results and you don't make as much money as an eBayer. So it's really eBay makes it a huge advantage to eBayers, number one, to offer free shipping and number two, to ship things fast. OK, and also they get an enormous amount of positive um, feedback from eBay and from their buyers if they're offering a quality product and they don't have a lot of returns and stuff. So see, that all results in a really good experience for you. OK, now I also wanted to tell you, say you're uh, in here and you're shopping for, say, pet strollers. I've already showed you you can uh, narrow it down by price, by color, all these sorts of things. In this particular search, you can even say what your dog's size is. But this feature here is what I always use. See this? Sort by. Now, best match is they're automatically just going to give you the best match. But what I do is I always go here, shop lowest price first. So if you click that, it's going to bring up the lowest prices. Now, you can see I've typed in pet stroller, and here's this little $7 item that is, is actually it's a little fan. So you're going to have some of that cheap, you know, like there might be accessories having to do with your item or something. So you kind of have to fish through that stuff. Um, but here, here's a small pet stroller right here for $12.88 with free shipping. Uh, you know, so and again, this is from Hong Kong. So I always do, I always, no matter what I'm shopping for on eBay, I always use that feature where I shop for the lowest price um, because I want to get the lowest price. And, you know, it's not that I necessarily am going to buy the lowest price one. Now look at, see, look at the difference in prices. The best match, a lot of these were $44, $45. Look at the lowest prices, $16, $17. Now some of these are from China and Hong Kong, and that's part of the reason that they're so cheap. And if you're willing to wait for it, you can save a lot of money. But like I said, if you go over and you put in uh, US only, then you're going to get ones that are going to um, come to you sooner. And uh, so anyway, that's just a really great feature. The other thing that you can choose is you can choose whether to do auction style or buy it now. That's the other thing that people don't understand about eBay. They think if they buy on eBay, they got to bid on stuff. You can bid on stuff, but most products on eBay are do have a buy it now feature. Um, now, I was in eBay for eight years. I didn't auction anything. My products weren't up for auction. I put a price on my products. I put them on eBay. That's what people bought them for. People weren't bidding on, on my products. It, you, it's just buy it now. This is the price I'm asking for, for the product. And most products like most products on eBay are set up that way. So I don't personally want to bid on stuff. I don't want to be in the middle of an auction. If I'm going online to buy something, right now today is the time that I have to look for it. Right now is the time I have to buy it. 
Right now is the time that I want it. So I don't want to say, for example, go to eBay and say, oh, I found this pet stroller and the current bid is $12. I'll put in a $15 bid. For one thing, I don't want to go back and back. I don't have the time. And I don't want to wait two or three days only to find at the end of the third day I didn't win the auction and somebody else won it and I got to start it all, all over again. Now, some people thrive on that stuff. Some people love that stuff. And you can um, save a lot of money by doing it that way because the auction prices will end up being cheaper. But I haven't found that it's that much cheaper and I haven't found that I save enough money doing that to warrant my time in doing it. So that's just my personal preference. But if you want to do the auctions, you can click auction and it'll show you just the products that you can bid on. But if you want to just buy the thing now, then you can click buy it now and you can still sort by the cheapest price. Um, and still get the cheapest price on eBay. That's what I do. So those are just some of some of your options. Also, you can look for the condition. Look at new and used. If it's something that you don't mind is used, like for example, a pet stroller. As long as it was in excellent shape, would you care if it was used? I wouldn't. The stroller that I bought was new, but um, you know that's just an example. Um, you know things for cat supplies. If you if you needed um. Uh, you know, a, a, a water dish or toys or I don't know. I, I don't know if I would want to choose like um, a litter box that was used or, you know, or I don't even think I would want to choose a pet bed that was used. I don't know, things like that. But if it's something like, like for this example, a pet stroller, as long as it's in an excellent condition, I don't care if it's used. And if I can get it 10, 15, 20 bucks cheaper because it's used, I will. Uh, and there's a lot of things that I buy on eBay that are used. I, I don't care if, if it's something that it doesn't matter. You can save a lot of money by choosing used and just, if nothing else, take a look and see. And, you know, the seller will write a description. They'll include pictures so you will know what you're getting. OK, now also I want to show you this. If you don't already have an eBay account, it's unbelievably easy. You can have one in two seconds. Let me show you here. When you're on eBay, if you go way up here in the corner and it says sign in, you click there and then it will take you this this screen where if you're already a member, you just sign up. If you're not a member, you fill out your name, your email and you create a password, create account, click done. That's done. You're shopping on eBay, you have an account. Now, the first time you purchase something, that's when they're gonna ask you for your address because obviously they need to know where to ship it. And that's where they're gonna give you your payment options. Most sellers accept PayPal, and we're gonna talk about PayPal. I'm gonna tell you that you ought to use PayPal when you're on eBay later in this video, I'm gonna tell you why. But once you purchase something, that's when they'll ask for your payment information, whether you're gonna pay by credit card or if you're gonna pay by PayPal. Now, if you use PayPal, you don't have to have a credit card. It can come straight out of your bank account through PayPal. Uh, so that's how you pay. But setting up account is the account is super easy. Now, let's go back to the article because I just want to uh, tell you a few more things about eBay. Like I say, it is easy to use. It's easy to open an account. Um, it's easy to pay. Now, here's where we talk about PayPal. I personally... Um, prefer first of all as an ebay seller i preferred i preferred paypal it's the easiest way for ebayers to accept payments it's the easiest way for them to manage uh, their payments and so forth and for a buyer it's the easiest way to pay for one thing you're not giving your credit card information to ebay when you have a paypal account and you pay whether it's on ebay or any place online they never see your bank account information and, and they never see your credit card information. That's all within PayPal, you see? So you're giving PayPal your credit card number and or your bank account information and they're the only ones that see it. So they're taking care of your payments of things you're buying online, but eBay or Walmart.com or Amazon or any place that you're shopping online, if you're paying with PayPal, you're not giving out your payment information to all those places. It's one of the reasons I like PayPal. The main reason that I like PayPal so much is the seller protection, or I'm sorry, the buyer protection. PayPal is unbelievable at protecting their customers. Now, eBay is too. And as I say in this article, eBay offers buyer protection and, it, and it's huge. If you, for example, well, between eBay and PayPal, the two of them, both of them, if you have any difficulties as a buyer on eBay, you file a complaint with eBay and PayPal and it is taken care of. You get a refund. Uh, 
you know, even, even if, you know, if you haven't received your item yet, you know, if the shipping was two days and it's been five days and you haven't received your item yet, you know, they'll get right on it for you. And, um, and they'll give you a refund if you want. They'll give you a refund. You don't have to wait if you don't want to. You can decide, I don't want to wait for this item. I want a refund. And PayPal will give you the refund. If you get your item and it's not as described, and that's how eBay classifies it, you're saying it's not as described. This isn't what the seller said. Um, you can get a refund. And also with PayPal, they'll provide you with a shipping label. Um, that you can print to go ahead and return the item. And it's just, it's really good protection. So I personally, if anywhere that I shop online, whether it's eBay, no matter where it is, if I can pay with PayPal, I do. Because number one, I don't want to give that company my credit card information. I don't have to if I'm paying with PayPal. And number two, I know I have the protection. If that, if I don't get what I'm purchasing from that seller, whether it's eBay or anybody, PayPal has my back and PayPal will give you a refund. Okay, so it's just really good protection. So when you're buying on eBay, I do recommend that you open a PayPal account. And PayPal is super easy. Go to PayPal.com, open up the account, and then it's your choice. You can add a checking account or a savings account to it to pay with if you want, or you can add a credit card. You can even use your debit card um, on PayPal too. So I just really like that. Uh, like I said earlier, eBay sellers are rated by buyer feedback. Now, I was what's called a top rated seller um, when I was on eBay, and that meant that I got the best feedback from my customers. Um, I had thousands, thousands of feedbacks um, on my uh, business. I, I sold thousands of dollars worth a year. And uh, so what you're looking for is a top rated eBay seller. You're, you're looking for somebody that has a really good positive feedback uh, percentage. You want them to have like 98, 99% positive feedback. Okay. Don't go through anybody who's even the slightest bit iffy because what that means is that means that, uh, that, Enough buyers have had a problem with this seller for their rating to go down. So don't do that. So, you know, like I said, if you're going through the top rated sellers or somebody that has like 98, 99% positive feedback, which you'll be able to see that when you click into their item, you'll be able to see that. So just, um, you know, stay with the top rated sellers. And, and if you do, you're going to be um, really sure to get a really good product and really good customer service. eBay is convenient. You can shop from your home computer, your laptop, your iPad, your cell phone, anytime, day or night. And it's cool because you can get the eBay app for your phone and you can just get it set up with your payments and everything. And you can just click, click, click really quick, um, really quick on eBay. Um, shipping is, us is usually super fast and usually free. Now, I want to say in my experience, it's always super fast and it's always free. Like I said, as long as you don't make the mistake of buying from China or Hong Kong, which like I said, you can if you want to, just know it's not going to get there quickly. But if you're buying products within the U.S., it is unbelievable how quickly your items get there. And the other thing about the shipping for eBay is you get notifications. You get emails when your item is shipped. You get the tracking number. Um, you know, you get to monitor, you know, they give you an expected um, arrival date and they give you the tracking number so you can keep track of it. Um, um, you know, to, to find out when it's coming. Uh, this is a really cool advantage to eBay, and I want to talk about this for a little bit. eBay has what's called eBay Giving Works, and what they do is they give sellers an opportunity to donate a portion of their sales to various charities. Now, one of the charities, for example, that a seller could donate to would be places like the ASPCA. So it's just one of the suggestions I want to make to you is if you're going to buy some pet supplies on eBay, if you want to take the extra time to find a seller who does donate a portion of their sales to animal charities, why not? If you're going to spend money, if you're going to buy something for your pet, even if you're going to, you know, wherever you're, whatever you're buying, why not have a portion of it go to help animals? And speaking of that, I also want to tell you, I donate a portion of my commissions on this website and on this YouTube channel to animal charities. Um, on my peoplelovinganimals.com website, which, uh, well, we're on it now. Sorry, I'm a little slow today. On the People Loving Animals website, if you go to the homepage, you will see a list of the animal 
uh, charities that I donate to. Now, I am what's called an affiliate marketer. And what that means, just for the sake of simplicity, is, for example, for this article, for this video, I'm giving you a link to go to eBay. It's an affiliate link. I am an affiliate for eBay, so I get a small commission. If you use my link and you go to eBay and you purchase something, I get a small commission on that. And that's how I'm able to do this for a living. It's how I'm able to have the website for a living and do this YouTube channel. It's what I do for a living. And that's how I'm able to do it because I make commissions on the products and the services that I recommend to people. Now, what I do is I take 10% of those commissions of all the commissions that I make on my whole People Loving Animals YouTube channel and my whole People Loving Animals website, and I donate um, to animal charities. So if you're buying something on eBay through my link, then you already know a portion is going to go to animal charities. And if you take the time to find a seller, especially if they're selling pet supplies, who also donates to maybe somebody like the SPCA or the ASPCA or PETA or some animal animal rights group, some animal benefit charities, then, you know, why not? If you're going to spend 10 bucks on a dog collar, why not have a portion of it go to the ASPCA and then I send a portion of it to PETA or somewhere? Do you know what I mean? I'm just saying. If we take the little extra time, then the money that we spend on our animals can help more animals. Uh, so it's just really a cool thing. So in the um, article, I give you um the links here to go ahead on eBay and um, and purchase products and shop for products. And uh, like I said, also in the um, description box um, of this video, I'm going to give you the link as well. And when you go into my website here, you're going to see for more articles about pet supplies and medications, click here. On my website, um, I've been doing this since 2015. I've got a lot of content on here. I've got lots of articles and on my YouTube channel, I'm doing a YouTube video um, at least once a week, sometimes more often. And they're all on the subject of pets. I do cat training, dog training, puppy training, pet care, uh, pet health, pet supplies and medications. I do product reviews and so I really would love it if you would visit my website and um, you know check out some of the things in there and shop around the YouTube channel a little bit see if there's any more videos um, that are on topics that might help you with your dog or cat. And also, I am going to ask you again if you would please uh, give this video a like if you found it helpful. It really helps YouTubers a lot when you do that. And I also would love it if you would subscribe to this YouTube channel. I, like I say, I'm doing a video at least once a week all about the care of cats and dogs. And I'm also going to ask you if you would please share uh, this YouTube channel and um, my my uh, peoplelovinganimals.com website with people that you know who own and love cats or dogs. Um, hopefully they'll be able to get some benefit out of it. Maybe something will help them. And like I say, any purchases that are made from my YouTube channel or my website, I give 10% of those commissions to animal charities. So it all helps animals. So I really would appreciate it if you would throw a link on your Facebook page or your Instagram or email it to friends or something. I really would appreciate it so much. Now, I promised you a free gift. So I want to tell you in the description box of this video, you're going to see down at the bottom, I'm going to give you the links that we talked about. I'm going to give you a link to my website. Um, I'm going to give you a link to my Patreon account, which you can also um, donate to support the channel. Um, through Patreon. I'm going to give you my social media links if you want to join me on Instagram or Facebook or Pinterest. Um, and also at the bottom, it's gonna. There's two opportunities to get a free gift. One is for dog lovers. One is for cat lovers. And for the dog lovers, it's a free dog training manual, and it's it's really good. And it'll be emailed to you. Um, you sign up with your email. I'll email you the free dog training manual. It's by uh, Doggy Dan. He owns the online dog training website called the Online Dog Trainer, and they are the dog training website that I recommend on my website. It really is awesome. You should definitely check it out, especially if you have any training issues with your dog. But go ahead and click on that and I'll give you that free gift of the free dog training manual. Um, and also there's one for cats. So if you get the cat lovers um, email, if, if you uh, sign up with your email for the cat lovers free gift, it's a cat training book. It's how to stop bad cat behavior. And it's a really cute book and it has tons of information about training your cat and solving bad cat behavior. Now, when you do this, now you can subscribe to both if you want to. I have a dog lovers email subscriber list and I also have a cat lovers email subscriber list. And when you're subscribed, 
about every um, every five to seven days, you'll get a new email from me and it will either contain an article that I've written about anything having to do with dogs or cats, depending on which list you're on, or it will include a new video that I've done. Um, all about dogs and cats. And like I said, it is okay to sign up for both lists if you want to. Then you'll get the stuff about dogs and you'll also get the, the stuff about cats. You can unsubscribe from that email list anytime you want, but I think you're going to like it. It's a lot of valuable information. I do a ton of research and when I write articles, like, you know, I write everything under the sun, like how to get your dog to stop barking. Um, I do a lot about dog aggression, um, dog bite safety, how to get your cat to use the litter box, um, how to break up cats fighting like the list goes on and on it's a lot of valuable information and I only use the most credible sources when I'm researching the articles when I'm writing the articles when I'm doing videos um, so I, I really I think that you'll find that it's very valuable information and again for that reason I, I ask you to share this with your friends who have um, dogs and cats so I think I think I've covered everything. I'm just looking at my list real quick just to make sure that I've covered everything. I think that I have. So again, thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you sign up and get your free gift. And I hope that you'll go to my website and shop around a little bit, see if there's anything else I can help you with. Uh, shop around on my YouTube channel a little bit, see if there's any more videos. I do have some cute vet pet videos on here too. If you are in the YouTube channel, click on the category or the playlist for cute pet videos and you'll see that little Boston Terrier that I was talking about. You'll see my little wiener dog uh, Taz and you'll see some other cute animal videos. So I'd really love it if you'd hang out a while. I'd love it if you would subscribe and um, I hope that I've helped you and go ahead and shop on eBay and save a ton of money. There's no reason to pay full price for anything and uh, I hope that you'll shop with me so that a portion of your purchases will go to help animals. So again, I hope I've helped you. My name is Deborah, and my website is peoplelovinganimals.com. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.